Hello, Joel Tamman here from Golf Monthly, and you join me at an incredibly hot West Hill Golf Club, where I'm going to talk you through the new Mizuno JPX 919 irons. Don't ask me about the naming conventions of Mizuno, because to me it makes absolutely no sense, but these replace the JPX 900 model. Now, that was a very impressive range of irons from Mizuno, and the Tour model especially made an awful lot of, of headlines you know, winning tournaments, major tournaments, there was a lot of people who weren't contracted to use those irons, using them out on tour, and it was really one of Mizuno's greatest success stories in recent years. And obviously to change it and replace it with something new is obviously a very brave move, but that time has come, and Mizuno have made some changes to these irons that should improve both the looks and the performance of all three of the models. The, the names of the models are the same. We've got the Tour, the Forged, and the Hot Metal. What's interesting with these new models that have put a new finish on this. So this is a pearl brush finish on here, said to be more durable and also reduce glare from the sun. Obviously we've got a great day to test that out here today at West Hill. The other thing to note about uh, the design of all three of these irons is that there's an open heel section here. You see that you've got this kind of stability frame on all three of these irons, so very much perimeter weighted. This open section takes the weight away from that area, redistributes it towards the toe end of the club, and as we know, a lot of weight in irons is concentrated in the hosel area, so taking some weight out of that heel section makes the club a bit more forgiving and centres that, that weighting a little bit more, so it should be a bit more stable on off centre hits. Let's talk about the looks of these clubs. We've mentioned the finish, there's no question, it is slightly lighter, and all three of these clubs, there's definitely a greater amount of consistency there through the set. You can see there's actually the same, this kind of odd shape on all three with a lot of different angles in different places. Uh, the Fords and the Tour look very similar indeed. Obviously they're different sizes, we'll come onto that in a second. Whereas the Hot Metal has a little bit more shiny elements on the back, but all three of them look absolutely fantastic. They've done away with any kind of blue graphics on here. It's all that one color kind of silvery color here on the back. It's clean, it's classic, certainly in the case of the Tour model, you know, there really isn't anything to dislike with this, with looks of this golf club. It's, it looks fantastic, got this kind of brushed finish on it. Uh, it almost looks a little bit like a muscle back. There isn't much really cavity visible there behind the face. And um, as in, I say, the top line on this Tour model is 10% thinner. So it should actually look a little bit more compact down by the ball. And for me, it does a great job of being compact down by the ball without looking intimidating as well. It's got that nice balance to it. The Forge model does get slightly bigger in size. It's got a thicker top line, a wider sole definitely, and perhaps a slightly more offset there. There's not much, but maybe a little bit. Definitely inspires a little bit more confidence behind the ball, but this is still a Forge club. The Tour model is also a Forge club with the Grain Flow Forge HD process with those grains tighter together for greater consistency of distance. This is forged as well, but it's got that boron material in it as well, which makes it a little bit stronger. It's allowed Mizuno to make the face a little bit thinner. Obviously, we saw that with the previous version as well. And then finally, we've got the JPX 919 Hot Metal. And this is made of uh, Chromoly 4140M, which is a very strong but flexible material. So it allows Mizuno to create an iron with those distance iron characteristics without feeling excessively hard. So it's strong, flexible, going to give you lots of ball speed, but also feel pretty good as well. And luckily, I've had the range for myself here at West Hill Golf Club today, and I've also been down to Forza HQ this morning in Guildford to test all three of these irons out to collect some dry ball data, see the ball flights here on the range as well to give you my feedback. So let's dive into the numbers we got on the GC Quad to see how the performance compared between the three. So Mizuno were kind enough to build me uh, samples of these irons in my preferred spec. So it's half inch longer and I've got the Dynamic Gold 120 X100, which in this flex I believe is 120 grams. So slightly lighter than what I currently play in my bag. So let's have a look at the data that we got on the GC Quad. Worth noting that the lofts have slightly changed with these clubs. We've got the tour model is remaining at 34 degrees, and you might remember the forge and the hot metal in the JPX 900 were 31 degrees, so they were the same. Uh, but in, in this case, they're actually staggered a bit more evenly down. So the forge model, uh, the 7 iron, is 32 degrees, and the hot metal is 30 degrees. So you might expect to get a little bit more distance this time around with the uh, hot metal compared to the previous generation. So as expected, given the lofts are much more traditional in the Tour model, we got an average carry 
of 159 yards there, which is about what I would expect from a 7-iron, no question. My 7-iron goes about 160, and this is delivering that. We've got a spinning at 6-7, which is unheard of really for a 7-iron. Modern day 7-iron, we're seeing uh, spins down at 4,000, 4,500. So to have an iron spinning at 6-7 is actually quite refreshing. It's obvious who this iron is built for. It's designed for the high speed player who's not too worried about distance. They're more worried about a soft feel and consistency. And you can tell looking at the distances, how consistent they were. I mean, obviously deleting my worst hits, there were some pretty bad strikes in there, but these are all pretty centered hits at ranging from 157 to 160. And so they were incredibly consistent. I like the ball flight of this club as well. It was kind of that mid ball flight, you know, it wasn't ballooning too high, but it wasn't climbing. You might expect a ball to with that level of spin to be climbing a little bit, but it wasn't really doing that for me. I really like this JPX 919 Tour model. Moving into the Forge model, set 32 degrees. So as expected, we're getting more ball speed here, two miles an hour faster ball speed. We're getting a slightly lower launch for me, um, launching at 17.4. And we're getting lower spin, definitely, but we're not getting super low spin. As I mentioned, modern day irons tend to spin an awfully lot lower than what we're getting here, 6,100, which again is refreshing. It's still providing really good distance, averaging uh, 165 average carry for me, uh, and also very consistent. So you're similarly consistent with the tour model. And in fact, that was a trend that carried across all three was the distance consistency. Ball flight was very similar with the Forge model compared to the tour. Moving into the hot metal, obviously the lowest lofted, the largest club, slightly different material. We're getting the most ball speed out of this club. It's designed mostly for distance and forgiveness. You can see my dispersion is pretty tight here. It was actually quite difficult to hit a shot significantly offline with this club. Um, interestingly, even though it is the lowest lofted, it was getting the ball up in the air the easiest, launching similarly to the forge, but flying a little bit higher at 33 yards peaking. And actually definitely noticed that here on the range when I was hitting shots with it, that JPX 919 hot metal was getting the ball up in the air much more easily. But the one thing I would say about the hot metal, while it was giving me obviously really good ball speed and a higher ball fly, it was still spinning close to 6,000. So into the wind with the ball getting up a little bit easily, I did feel like it was climbing a little bit too much. You know, this is really a distance iron. So you might expect the spin to be a little bit lower than that. You know, I think I would worry slightly into the wind. Don't get me wrong, it was still giving me good distance, averaging over 170 yards carry. So it's unquestionably the longest of the three clubs, but you would expect that from a club that is lofted two degrees stronger than the Forge. So three, obviously three different kind of breakdowns of performance offering slightly different things. The one thing I would say across all three, really definitely, maybe not quite the hot metal as much, but the Forge and the Tour feel really, really soft. You know, buttery, buttery soft. These are what Mizuno irons are all about. They're all about soft feel. They're all about consistency of distance. And all three of these models are really delivering that. The Forge does offer an element of forgiveness. It's definitely more forgiving, more user-friendly, down by the ball definitely compared to the Tour. There is an element of forgiveness on the Tour, but for me, the Forge definitely strikes a nice balance. And I think for most amateur golfers, it's going to tick an awful lot of boxes for them. It, you know, offering a combination of a little bit of everything, distance, forgiveness, a soft feel and confidence down by the ball. I really like the look of the Tour. I think it's for a better player, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be on your must-try list for 2018, to be honest, because there really isn't anything to dislike about it. It's compact without looking intimidating, like I mentioned. The top line is thickish compared to a lot of other better player clubs out there, but from the back, it really does have a look almost like a blade and it feels incredibly stable for what is a better player iron. So hopefully you found this comparison test useful in determining which one out of these three JPX 919 irons might be best suited to your game. We'd love to hear from you so make sure you comment on the video, drop us a line, tell us what you think about these irons. In terms of me personally, I'm a massive fan of these. They, they tick an awful lot of boxes. They look great and across the three clubs there's a, a clear breakdown in terms of the type of golfer that really should be using these. The tour model, as I mentioned, is for competent ball strikers who favour a soft feel and distance consistency. The Forge model still offers that, but in a little bit more user-friendly package, whereas the hot metal is more geared towards distance, forgiveness, and a little bit more 
launch as well if you want a higher ball flight maybe you struggle to get the ball up in the air that is an option for you so there you have it the mizuno jpx 919 irons a very impressive offering admittedly only a minor evolution over the previous generation but some very subtle changes that i think make them a little bit more appealing so hopefully you'll be able to give them a try and pick the one that's best for you